Oh, oh is it? It's so good. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to just be like buried in a pool of these potatoes. <laughs> this place holds a very special spot in our hearts because it's where we met almost exactly nine years ago. Hey guys, we're still here in Austin hanging out at Catherine's parents' house, just waiting it out till we can hit the road again. But we really miss traveling, especially visiting and supporting local businesses, so we had an idea, an Austin food tour. Takeout edition. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're gonna share with you a few local Austin spots, but from the safety of our van. <laughs> so we won't get to share with you guys the full dining experience like we normally try to, but it's still gonna be a really, really fun, unhealthy, delicious day. <laughs> Just to give you guys an idea of what things are like in Austin right now, Austin's starting to open back up. Restaurants are able to have dine-in service again, but with certain rules and restrictions. But a lot of them are still just doing takeout until they can ensure that they can safely serve all their customers. Yeah, for the most part, we've just been stuck inside the house, barely leaving, just go for walks and runs and the occasional grocery store. So it's really nice to get out of the <laughs> the bigger neighborhood and like actually see the world again yeah this feels like a very exciting field trip for us yeah. like oh wow look at what's changed in the last two months <laughs> for our first stop of the day we are having one of our favorite all-time foods, especially when we're in Texas. You guessed it, barbecue. Oh man. <laughs> so before we get started, we wanted to mention that we filmed a vlog in Austin about a year ago, almost exactly. Yeah. And we went to a bunch of our favorite spots in town, including our favorite barbecue spot of all time. It could change today, we don't know. But if you have not seen that video, go check it out for more ideas of places to eat in Austin. Yeah, the problem is, is every time we're in town, we always do go to our favorite spots, which I'm not gonna lie, if we went to Valentina's for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I would not be upset in the slightest. So we wanted to branch out a little bit and try a different place. So I've seen this one for a little bit and it looks delicious. And this place is called Interstellar Barbecue. <laughs> And it's located in Northwest Austin. So it's a little off the barbecue beaten path. A lot of the places are downtown. So it's a little bit of a trek to get to depending on where you are in Austin, but we hear it's delicious. And one thing we wanted to mention before we stuff our faces because You're torturing the, me. Smell is, the smell is killing us <laughs> is it's closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. So don't show up those days. You will leave very, very sad, <laughs> but let's eat, we're hungry. <laughs> so first of all, when you get Texas barbecue, you have to get the king of barbecue. That's the brisket. And we like to, we lean towards the moist side. Sorry if anybody's sensitive of that word. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we heard that their pulled pork is absolutely delicious. So we're gonna give that a shot. And then these are their uh, barbecue baked beans and they look delicious. And they too. come for free. Yeah, they come free with every order, I guess. I don't know why they do that, but I'm happy they do. <laughs> and then barbecue always comes with some pickles and some onions and then some bread and your sauces. And then two of the things that we are most excited to try here because they're a little bit different. We have a peach tea smoked pork belly. And for some reason, I've been super into pork belly lately. I never have it, but it just sounds good to me all the time and I don't know how to make it. So I'm very excited about that. And then this dish right here are their smoked scallop potatoes. And they we read some, watched some interviews and read some interviews from the owner and they said that they're actually probably more famous for these smoked scallop potatoes than they are for the meats. And they're a vegetarian dish. They're not vegan, but they are vegetarian and they look incredible. They basically just do like milk and cream and cheese and they smoke these scallop potatoes and <sighs> oh boy, we're so excited. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start with my favorite and I especially love it when they give you pieces of bark like this. Oh man, looks so good. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> That's delicious. I love the bark on most barbecue because you get it's where all the seasoning is and so it like kind of crisps up a little bit and it, and it just gives it a little bit of a bark as they like to call <laughs> it and um and then you get some the pink is the smoke ring and man it's just that's just my favorite part i don't know <laughs> next up i'm gonna give the pulled pork a try heard good things about it i'm just gonna try it first on its own and then i'll add the mustard based barbecue sauce a little pork string <laughs> mm. Mm. that's got a great flavor 
it's nice and soft tender juicy everything you really want in pulled pork that's awesome delicious all right i'm gonna get a little bit into this sauce they said that the mustard sauce goes well with the pork yeah and i'm a big mustard barbecue sauce fan mm, good. it's like tangy and a little bit sweet a solid Whenever we film our food vlogs, we try to avoid us both trying everything on camera because that would just take forever. But I always have to try the brisket when we go places because we named our van brisket and it's one of our favorite foods in the world. Good point. And this one has a nice bark on it. That just melts in your mouth. That is so, so good. Mm. I think I'm going to try the pork belly next because I oh, was so, so excited and it has this awesome looking glaze on top it just looks oh a little sticky mm -hmm. and they're way bigger than mm, i thought they were yeah they're be. pretty big chunks <laughs> that is so so dang good i probably have glaze all over my face but mm -hmm. has that nice really fatty layer like the best part of pork belly in my opinion on the top and then it's a little tougher like it gets more tough compared to the fat at the bottom it has a nice little like char or bark on it from the smoker oh they smell really good mm -hmm. see through the scallop potatoes oh my gosh wow <laughs> those are amazing <laughs> they're so cheesy and creamy and you get that smoky flavor in there which i mean cheesy potatoes are always the way to go when you add the smoke in there as well that is outstanding that is so good i want to just be like buried in a pool of these potatoes <laughs> All right, we're going to give these free beans, free beans a try. <laughs> they smell really good. It looks like they have some, some brisket in there. I don't know if this is just a Texas thing, but there's these things called ranch style beans. It's like a black and white label can of beans in the store. But this tastes just like them. I thought these were going to be kind of too sweet because baked beans, usually they just put a bunch of brown sugar in it. But these aren't sweet. These are spicy, meaty, and tomato-y. These are really good. That stuff was so dang good. We have a lot of places ahead of us to go to, but so we're trying to be good and not eat at all. It was just hard to put down, but we're on to our next stop. We saved some for later though, so we'll have like a dinner later of oh, barbecue. Yeah. So it turns out our next spot has a two and a half hour wait to get your food, which we had no idea it would be that long. I guess we should have checked. So we're gonna go grab a to-go coffee to go kill some time. We came to this spot in East Austin called Flat Track Coffee. It's one of those really cool bike shop plus coffee roaster combinations, which we don't cycle, but for some reason we really like that combination. Just, when, when coffee shops do that with other shops, it just makes it more interesting and yeah, more, more fun. more unique. More of a cool hangout spot. Yeah, so it's really cool on the inside. And what was nice is that they let one group go in at a time. And then when that group left, the next group could go in. So you were able to still go inside and kind of get that coffee shop experience. Yeah. And it was honestly the first normal experience we've had in two months. So it was really nice to feel normal for a second. Yeah, it's an extra special moment because it's the first like real espresso or real coffee drink we've had that I haven't made or Catherine hasn't made in the house so we are very excited <laughs> for this and we got two bad chicks these are called <laughs> La Chingona which translates to badass woman and these are gonna be bad because <laughs> they have a house made horchata they mix it with mocha and then a shot of espresso that okay. just sounds delicious so we got one hot one ice it's yeah. really hot in Austin today we might be a little shiny because it's very humid and hot but we thought we'd try it in both of its yeah, forms yeah I think we both wanted it iced deep down because it's warm <laughs> like she said but then it gets warm I kinda, if it melts so. I wanted to try the hot one yeah. too yeah so we'll see which one's better you think it's cold enough I don't know I'm afraid I'm gonna burn my mouth but uh -huh. we'll, I'll, do, I'll do it anyway <laughs> oh is it it's so good see oh man it's you just get that cinnamon it's really sweet i'm sure there's coffee mm. in there it's definitely yeah. just sweet, a sweet yeah drink. i almost wanted to say like add an extra shot in there <laughs> but it's okay i'm always hesitant to get ice drinks because i just want to chug them like i could just down this so fast but whatever oh, this is amazing 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can I try it iced? Do you want to yeah, switch? Yeah, that's very nice. That's delicious. Oh. Oh, it's good both ways. This is like... Because it's hot and it has like the cinnamon, the spice, it's kind of like spicier, kind of. Yeah, I taste the cinnamon you know? and the spices more in this one. That this one one's is... just super refreshing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. It's, I'm hot. It's delicious. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I'm really glad. I'm glad our next spot took longer because yeah. we weren't planning to do this Yeah, today. this is a nice little <laughs> surprise. And they live up to their name. They're chingon. <laughs> <laughs> So our next stop is Via 313, which is Detroit style pizza. So you've probably heard of New York style pizza and Chicago deep dish style pizza. And what Detroit style pizza is, is it's basically a square pizza baked in these automotive parts pans. <laughs> so it kind of has a little bit of a deep dish to it. You can see it's a little thicker right here. It's got this amazing crust from like the cheese crusting up when it's cooked in the pan. And another fun thing about Detroit style pizza is it's called upside down pizza or red top pizza because the cheese is on the crust or the bread or the whatever you call it and the sauce is on top so it's slightly different than your normal style pizza so we've been to via 313 a few times and they have a bunch of different flavors of choices of pizza you can get but we went with kind of the classic this is called the detroiter it comes with two different kinds of pepperoni a smoked pepperoni and a natural casing pepperoni i don't know what kind of cheese it is probably your typical pizza cheese mozzarella and all that jazz and we got it on a gluten-free crust and Catherine says the gluten-free crust is amazing mm -hmm. I might have had a bite or two of it before a, a time before but I don't really remember what it tasted like so I'm very excited to check it out I love pizza <laughs> I do like the sauce on top you get more of the sauce flavor I think and it just mixes well with the cheese the crust is fluffy and it's just good. I want to get some of this crust though. Oh yeah. Mm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's the spot. This pot was kind of kind of soft, but I really like the crunch on the outside there. It was really good. Does it taste gluten free to you? I always say like if someone didn't tell you, you wouldn't know. And I'm gonna say the same thing with this. Like these places are getting really good with their gluten free and all those kind of alternative kind of ingredients. It's excellent. I don't think you could really tell. This is good. I've always said this is my favorite gluten-free crust out there. A lot of places do like a really, really thin like cracker gluten-free crust, which is good, but this is the most similar to a regular pizza I've ever had. And they also have dairy-free cheese, so really any dietary restrictions you have, you can eat here, which is awesome for us dietary challenged folks. <laughs> I'm gonna get a crunchy side. Good call. Oh yeah. Mm. This like crunchy burnt kind of cheese just absolutely makes a pizza. It's so good. And yeah, this crust is just so fluffy and soft and the sauce is kind of seeping into it a bit. So it's getting a little soggy. That's kind of the downside of like takeout pizzas. You have to wait a while to eat it and it may have been ready before we got there. But oh, this is dang good. The sauce is just so flavorful. And they have a bunch of spices on top and then the little oil collecting and the pepperoni. <laughs> so our next and final stop is a place that's very, very special to us, a little burger joint called Mighty Fine Burgers. And there are a lot of amazing burgers here in Austin, but this place holds a very special spot in our hearts because it's where we met almost exactly nine years ago. It was our romantic scene, you guys. I can, I can never forget it. I'm prepping the meat for the day. I look to my right and the manager's walking this new pretty employee through. <laughs> So that's where we met. <laughs> yeah, we met while he was just prepping the meat for the day. It was super romantic. Yeah, yeah. But they have five locations all around town, and we're not going to the one that we met at because the one we're going to is uh, the most convenient for us. And But it's really cool because it's in a shipping container. Yeah. So we really love this company. We loved working for them. Great we company. love going there still. It's just a very special spot to us because without them, wouldn't have landed this mighty fine husband. <laughs> <laughs> So Mighty Fine is known for burgers, fries, and shakes, which when we worked there, that's all they had, but now they've expanded their menu. Now they have chicken sandwiches, they have onion rings, you can get frings, which is what we got, french fries, and onion rings. So they kind of have something for everybody's taste and everybody's kind of dietary 
preferences. So I got a quarter pound burger here with all the toppings. I get like mustard on my burgers. That's what I got. And they call it yeller at Mighty Ooh. Fine. Red, yellow, white. Um, it's with cheese. I got bacon on there, of course. Lettuce, tomato, pickle, onion, and jalapenos are on the bottom. These burgers are super good because it's kind of like a classic like backyard burger, like something you'd fr cook up in your backyard. And I just got a boring bowl with a burger, but I got this thing called an FOB, which is on the locals menu. So it's not on the main menu, but they have their locals menu online. And basically FOB stands for flat on bun, I think if I remember correctly. So it's just a thinner patty. So Adam's patty is thicker. And then this one, they just kind of smash it down. I just really like thin burgers. So I thought it'd be fun to try it and give y'all a locals tip. But since my, my meal is kind of boring, we spice things up and we got two milkshakes. So Mighty Fine has the best milkshakes in the whole world. So freaking They're good. so good. So they use Bluebell ice cream, which is a Texas classic. And we might be talking about that more in a future vlog, but they actually do like a hand spun, I think is the term. Uh, milkshake. So instead of using like a froyo and just kind of blending it up, they scoop the ice cream. I call it hand dipped. Hand dipped. That's yeah. right. <laughs> um, I think they put like half and half in there instead of milk. Yeah. At least when we worked there, yeah. and they are just creamy and delicious. And I don't know if it's melted at all. It's still like pretty solid in there. They're got, so bomb. They make all the sauces that they put. Yeah, in. we would make the sauces in the morning. Yeah, in the morning you cook down the chocolate sauce, and you blend up the strawberry sauce. Oh man. So this is a vanilla. This is a chocolate because we couldn't decide. So we got like the kid sizes of each one. And they also have strawberry. They have a lemonade milkshake, which tastes like a lemonade Girl don't, Scout cookie. Don't sleep on that one. Yeah. It might sound weird, but it is so <laughs> it's good. It's so good. <laughs> and then I think right now they have a banana cream pie ones. They do yeah. special ones, but oh, I'm so excited. We haven't had an, a Mighty Fine milkshake in probably four to five it's years. It's been a long time since we've had Mighty Fine. All right. It's been a long time since I've had one of you guys, but. I bet you it's just as good. Nice thick patty, fresh veggies, bacon, cheese, burger. Mm. So when I stopped working there, they were just bringing these out. So I can't remember if I've really tried them or not yet, but man, they look nice and crispy and delicious. Mm. Ooh. Oh yeah, oh they're good. Nice like thin breading, super crunchy. Mm-hmm. And their fries are Crinkle cut. They're crinkle cut. They have like the special machine they cut them in. And they used to do the pickles in them, but the pickles are sliced, so they've changed some things up. But these are really good. You can ask for them extra crispy or, or light fries. They're pretty good too, where they don't cook them as long. But if you get them just regular order, they're super good. Yeah, these are awesome. Burgers are way better with a bun, but this is still pretty dang good for not having a bun. And everything's just so fresh. Like since we worked there, we know what happens behind the scenes and everything's super fresh. There are no freezers, no microwaves. It's just awesome. Like they make, they chop up everything in the morning. They make the fries. They don't freeze them or anything. So this place is just solid. If you want like a quality burger, like that's super simple and classic. But we're gonna devour these milkshakes before they melt. It's very hot in the van right now. Adam's I'm sweating, sweating a lot because all the windows are exposed yeah. and it's so hot out. But I'm gonna drink the, or try the vanilla one first. I have the chocolate here. All right, cheers. Cheers. Oh my, mm. it's so good. Oh, it's so chocolatey oh. and milky and it's so dream. creamy. Yeah. Oh my gosh, best milkshake. Fight me on it. Oh man. Let me try that one. Oh, that's the best. Oh, that chocolate's good. I'm not even really a chocolate ice cream fan, but their chocolate yeah, shake. Yeah, it's such a hard debate. Like, yeah. Which one's better? Because they do vanilla ice cream for all of them, then they add syrup. Yeah, the base so. is vanilla. Oh. And that the bluebell ice cream is just good on its own, but. Mm hmm. Oh man, mighty fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. We hope you guys enjoyed our Austin food tour takeout edition. <laughs> it was honestly our best day in like the last two months. It was just so much fun to get out of the house, get out of the neighborhood and just enjoy like our regular life again. Yeah, this, it was so much fun. This was like the closest we felt to like our traveling life before. Yeah. And it was so nice to not cook for once and actually just yeah. eat some food that yeah. other people have made. <laughs> So if any of you guys are from Austin or have visited Austin, let us know below what some of your favorite local spots are because we'd love to try them in the future. Heck yeah. <laughs> so we'll be here in Austin probably for about another month before we hit the road again. So we'll be coming at you with a few more Austin-y adventures. <laughs> So. Yeah, it should be really fun, but uh, we're really stuffed. Yeah, <laughs> so, so stuffed. we're going to drive home and head into a food coma. So we'll see you guys next see time. Ya. Everything, but wait, wait. yeah, big one. Oh, no.
The one time we don't go, how's my teeth? How's my teeth? The one time. <laughs> she has a giant like peppercorn in her teeth. <laughs> <laughs> so I was trying to be cool and smooth and just put these up here and they kind of fell and I was like, ah, I'll just shut it. And then I was like, ah, I better fix it. And they all like came toppling down on me like that and they're all, Flosser all over the place. <laughs> So we came to the spot in East Austin, what is it called? Oh, let's call it Interstellar <laughs> Coffee. <laughs> it's a square pizza baked in automotive part, parts pans. Automotive pan, automotive pans. <laughs> I don't know why that was hard to say. Yeah.